Hi guys, um, it's Andrew here all the way from Vietnam and I'm currently the VP Finance of UVSA Ontario and I apologize in advance for any background noise because let's face it, um, it's always lit in Vietnam. Uh, as you've probably heard from the previous videos, the current executive team's terms are ending and we're in the process of hiring a new executive team. Um, so this means that the VP Finance position is now open um, so what exactly does this VP finance position entail? Um, let me tell you all about it. So some of the main responsibilities that came along with being the VP finance was that you had to organize the budget and manage the bank accounts for the term. Um, this means that you had to make sure all the records were up to date and you had to keep all the receipts for any UVSA Ontario funds and expenditure. As well, throughout the year, you were to maintain either a journal or an Excel sheet, in my case, um, to show the cash flow of UVSA Ontario. Um, so the cash flow involves keeping track of the revenue, um, expenses, as well as the profit involved with each event. Um, so speaking of events, um, you work really closely with the events VP as well as the events committee member, um, which in this case were Jennifer um, Nguyen Huang and Linda Nguyen. Um, to create a budget with the projected costs, revenue, and profit for each event. The course of the year, um, I as well as other exec managers found myself helping out with other execs outside of the main duties of VP Finance. And as a result, over the course of the year, um, we grew together as a family. This kind of segues into the family aspect of UVSA Ontario. And over the course of the year, I really felt like I was part of a Yedin. And Yedin indeed meant family to me. Um, I bonded so much with my executive board and I got to meet so many different people from all walks of life. Overall, I would highly recommend applying and even if you don't have experience being on a VME Student Association, um, this is a decision that you will not regret. Oh, so I have a question coming in from Michelle, the VP admin. Um, so she asks, what was the most surprising thing you learned about the BSAs in Ontario? Hmm. So I guess like what was the most surprising thing um, I learned about the BSAs in Ontario kind of came during our annual Ignite show. Um, so all the BSAs um, came together for our annual cultural show and competition. Um, so they showcased the Vietnamese culture through like dance, acting, and singing. And even though we were all from different schools and kind of competing against each other, I was really surprised to see how much all the schools bonded with each other. Um, so this just goes to show how united the Vietnamese student associations are um, in promoting the Vietnamese culture. And I know I speak for many out there that we all had post-ignite withdrawals and we all miss the people that we've met during that day. Um, so after the Ignite show, it made me look forward it made me look really forward to future events that we will all have as VSAs um, and it makes me hopeful for the future in terms of like VSAs congregating and having a fun time together. Um, so speaking of fun events, um, if you're still having those post ignite feels, I recommend checking out our upcoming gala event. Um, so we actually do have our upcoming final event. Um, which is the UVSA um, Gala, and this is in celebration of UVSA Ontario's 20th anniversary. So, in terms of its symptoms for you to go, um, the theme will be um, VSA by Night, um, and we'll be giving out awards um, to various VSAs. Um, and the nomination forms will be coming out shortly, so stay tuned for those um, after the elections, but after the election videos. Um, so we'll. The gala will be, um, the gala will consist of um, three course meal, a uh, photo booth, as well as an open bar, and it's all going to be happening on June 23rd on a Friday at 6 p.m. Um, and this is at the Milan uh, Banquet Hall in Mississauga, and this is all for $50, and you can pay via PayPal. So if you have any more questions about this event, or even about this position, uh, feel free to ask me or send me a personal message on uh, Facebook and I just have my next question that I'll ask to Ryan, the VP Tech. So, so until then, um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!